The 16 gigabyte RTX 3070 Ti gets leaked once again and Zotac makes the most tone deaf Twitter post I think that I've ever seen. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Brobot. Brobot is a free, super fast program that scours the internet searching for restocks of the latest GPUs, CPUs, and consoles to help you find what you're looking for before it goes out of stock. Thanks to Brobot, I was finally able to purchase a PS5 due to its extremely fast speed and in my case, I noticed it was actually minutes faster than all other popular bots I've tried. So if you're looking for a tool that can help you secure that new GPU, CPU, or console, be sure to click the Discord and Telegram links in the description below to find out more. So recently, VideoCards.com posted an article where apparently another website that goes by the name of GameStar found an RTX 3070 Ti system being listed online by the website Alternate. Now, of course, this isn't the first time that we've seen the 3070 Ti being posted online, and according to Video Cards, they actually did see it before in a Lenovo Legion post. Now, this system does go by the name of t 734 IMZ45. Apparently, it's the exact same system. At least that's what I saw in their article. And yeah, this RTX 3070 Ti to me is very interesting, and it's interesting to see another leak here. And also, one other detail I want to mention is that supposedly when they did reach out to the retailer, it was actually taken down, and they claimed that it was a bug. Now, of course, this could definitely be a bug, or this could be a sign that at one point this was actually going to be a system that was going to be sold. And in my opinion, that's probably actually the case. But the most interesting thing about this to me is the fact that there probably was an RTX. 3070 Ti with 16 gigabytes that was going to be created and what I don't know at this point is you know was that leak from Cop87 Kimi earlier the one that was going to be the 3070 Ti with 10 gigabytes of VRAM or was it originally going to be the 16 gigabyte variant and this is something that I want to discuss so if you take a look at the 3070 Ti and we take a look at Nvidia's stack of video cards and you try and make sense of where a 3070 Ti could actually fit in you know if they go with the Cop87 Kimi 10 gigabyte variant which um, according to him it had 7424 shaders 10 gigabytes bytes of GDDR6, which was likely running at 16 gigabits per second on a 320-bit bus, well, then that actually would have to be based off of probably a GA102 chip, because the RTX 3080 is also based off of that chip and has a 320-bit bus, so I don't see it being based off of, say, a 3070 chip. It's more likely based off the same chip that you see on the RTX 3080 and the RTX 3090, but there's one problem I have with this, and that's the fact that, you know, if you do end up creating an RTX 3070 Ti in that same GA102 chip, and then there's also a 3080 Ti in the GA102, 102. Well, now you've got the 3090, the 3080 Ti, the 3080, and the 3070 Ti all being produced on that exact same chip, and I just don't know how that would make any sense, because that seems like way too many GPUs to be producing off that one chip, and I don't know if they could actually meet the amount of demand that there would be for all these different cards. Now, of course, if they do make that 10 gigabyte variant and it ends up being kind of the replacement for the 3080, that could actually make some sense, but the only reason I think that they would have it replace the 3080 is if, you know, AMD came in and had a bunch of supply their RX 6800 XT coming in at $650 or maybe even $600 and they're putting a lot of pressure on Nvidia but unfortunately AMD just cannot meet demand right now their video cards from AIBs are all very very expensive so to me that doesn't really make sense to replace the 3080 right now now if they go with the 16 gigabyte variant they could maybe unlock the full RTX 3070 so you'd maybe get you know uh, 6144 shaders 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 running at probably 16 gigabits per second on a 250 56 bit bus and that would allow you to get that 16 gigabytes of memory and I think a lot of people would be very impressed by that 16 gigabytes and they would actually probably buy that over the 3080 in a lot of cases because maybe they don't need all that GPU power but they just want to have a future proofed very powerful GPU and I think that that would satisfy that for a lot of people. Um, the only problem I have with this is that apparently there's a G6 shortage right now or at least that's as as far as I'm aware that is probably going on and so if you're going to put 16 gigabytes in this card and then charge maybe, you know, $600 for it or, or $650 for it, uh, it just seems like it wouldn't be a good use of their resources when they could use 8 gigabytes in a 3070 and produce two of those with the same amount of VRAM as you would be using in one 3070 Ti. And of course, making the 3070, that also allows you to have some defects in the die since you don't have to have a perfect die to produce that 3070 Ti. And on top of that, the 3070 Ti with 6,144 shaders really wouldn't be that much faster than the 3070. So taking a look at these two different options here, which I think they would have to choose from, it's kind of, you know, confusing as to which one they would actually go with, because both of them have their benefits and both of them have their negatives. But one thing I think for sure right now is that they're probably not going to be releasing a 3070 Ti anytime soon. I'm sure that they've been working on it. I'm sure it's definitely kind of like an ace up their sleeve that they can 
play pretty much at any time, but right now it just doesn't make any sense for them to actually release this card, at least in my opinion, because again, AMD's not pressuring them. They can't really meet demand as it is. They might as well sell their 3090s and 3080s for more money if they can, rather than basically undercutting or cannibalizing their own products. Uh, that doesn't really make any sense to me. So if I was to guess, I do think that the 3070 Ti exists at least on paper. I'm sure that they have worked on it. I'm just not entirely sure when it's going to release. And I think, uh, like I said, if I was to guess, it probably wouldn't release until after the 3080 Ti and probably not even until GPU mining starts to go down in popularity as well, because they're going to have to meet demand pretty easily if they want to produce yet another GPU and possibly even cannibalize the RTX 3080 sales, basically selling you an RTX 3080 for cheaper. So yeah, if you're waiting on an RTX 3070 Ti, it may be coming at some point in the future, but I wouldn't be holding my breath and I definitely wouldn't necessarily be, you know, waiting for one if you do have an option to buy an RTX 3070 or 3080 and that's going to get the job done for you, well, I would probably just do that, though saying that it is pretty difficult to get your hands on either of those cards right now considering how high the demand really is. But before we wrap this video up, there's one more story I got to share with you guys because I just absolutely couldn't believe this when I saw it. It was It's definitely the most tone deaf social media post I've ever seen from any company in my life. It absolutely blew my mind. But over on Twitter, this is now a deleted post, but Zotac did post this they posted this image here and it says an army of hashtag zotac gaming gpus hungry for coin so yeah, what you're looking at here is a mining rig for sure. They're basically reposting someone's image of a mining rig. And in my opinion, it kind of looks like they're essentially endorsing mining. Maybe they didn't mean to, but that's what it came across as. And for me, this was kind of the final straw with me and Zotac. Uh, I personally didn't really like their RTX 30 series cards. I've never been a huge fan of Zotac. So when I saw this over on social media, it was just like, really guys, I mean, you can't be any more tone deaf. And this might not even be the way the company company Zotac feels about mining, but to me it came across as we support miners and we don't want to get cards to gamers. That's kind of what it felt like to me. And we're in a time where, you know, posting something like this is just so shocking because there are like thousands and thousands of people complaining online how they can't get a GPU right now. You know, they're just trying to get one graphics card. And here you're sharing an image of someone with, it looks like, you know, maybe 10 or 20 graphics cards they are able to get their hands on while people just can't even get one. So yeah, this comes across as a really bad look for Zotac. And for me personally, I'm done with Zotac as a company. I refuse to buy another product from them ever again. You know, do what you like with your money. I'm not telling you to boycott them or anything, but in my opinion, this is the final straw in Zotac. See you later. I'm never buying another product from you again because I wasn't impressed with your video cards to begin with, uh, simply due to things such as, I, I, you know, I just felt like they were maybe a little bit too expensive for what you're getting, uh, especially looking at the power delivery from an overclocking standpoint, at least with the RTX 30 series. Um, so yeah, I, I wasn't very impressed to begin with and this just kind of seals the deal yeah I, i'm just going to be actively avoiding any zotac cards going forward in the future and really you know removing this post isn't good enough for me i really think that you should have an apology because whether or not you're for or against mining you just got to understand this is a really bad look for a company right now and i cannot believe that someone was so out of touch that they actually posted this but hey that's just what i think do you think that the rtx 3070 ti is going to exist and if it does do you think it'll be a 16 gigabyte variant or do you think that it'll be a 10 gigabyte variant based off of the GA102 die. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also if you want to see more click here you won't be disappointed.